Hello everyone and happy Easter. This weekend we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter. Our first reading comes from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Our psalm response is Psalm 16 where we will sing, Lord you will show us the path of life. And our second reading comes from 1 Peter. The gospel reading this week comes from Luke and it's the famous reading, The Road to Emmaus. I would really, really encourage you, as always, to uh, pray over the readings before Mass and read through all of them uh, to kind of help with staying short and not making this too long. I'm going to focus just on the Gospel for this short video because it's such a rich and a long Gospel. Just a real brief recap, um, two travelers are on the road to Emmaus and they uh, are friends of Jesus and they're talking about the life, uh, death, crucifixion, and now this resurrection of Christ that they just heard about. Um, if you can imagine, they just lost a good friend and now are hearing rumors or, or, or stories about him being risen from the dead. Um, and they're really unsure on how do I process all of this? So as they're walking on this journey, they encounter a stranger, somebody that they don't recognize. And the stranger asks them, you know, what are, what are you guys talking about? And so they, they go on to tell them the story that they had just been discussing about the life of Jesus. Then this stranger ends up interpreting the story for them by, re by relating it back to scriptures that they already know. Later on in the reading, we find out that these two travelers say that their hearts were burning um, when Jesus was breaking open the scriptures with them, but they still didn't recognize who he was. At this time, he was still a stranger. Then later on in the reading, they have a meal with him, and in the breaking of the bread, Jesus is fully revealed to them, and they realize that the Christ that they have been missing, the Christ that they have been talking about, has been in their midst from the very beginning throughout this journey. So as we, we reflect on the readings for this weekend, um, Three common ways um, are often used to approach this reading. Uh, one is relating it back to the Mass. So in that uh, initial encounter with the two strangers sharing the story of Jesus with them is our Liturgy of the Word. Then Jesus breaking open the Word, relating it back to Scripture and explaining it to them is the liturgy or is the homily so that those those two parts uh, are uh, directly related to the liturgy of the word and then later on in the reading Christ is fully revealed to them in the breaking of the bread so obviously the liturgy of the Eucharist so one way to look at this reading is uh, uh, relating it back to our mat to the mass another way to look at this reading is uh, it's often used as a model for catechesis whether it's for little kids, um, teens, or adults. And the idea is that Catholic trivia and facts and memorizing different prayers uh, or, or dates or Bible verses can be helpful, uh, but really the heart of our faith is a personal relationship with, personal relationship with Christ. Do we, really, do we really know Christ? Do we reflect Christ in our own lives? And are we a reflection of Christ in our interaction with others? And so this model of Jesus accompanying the two travelers on the road to Emmaus is used for a model for youth ministry. So rather than speaking to somebody and saying, memorize this, memorize this, memorize this, all right, after you memorize this, you'll be a good Catholic, um, we're encouraged to journey with somebody in their faith walk. How did you experience Christ today? Where did you see Christ present? And then from that experience, relate it back to scripture and to church, church teaching. So, um, you know, maybe with our families, uh, with our friends, uh, maybe we might consider this approach in sharing our faith with others, not so much in regurgitating Catholic trivia, but really thinking about how has Christ been present in my life? Inviting the person to share how they uh, might experience Christ in their life and then relating it back to scripture. And then 
Another way this reading can be looked at is just, do we recognize Christ in the normal everyday parts of our lives? A lot of times we associate Jesus lives in the church. So when we want to uh, visit Jesus, we go to a church and we sit in the church and that's where Jesus lives, so that's where we visit Jesus. But while that's true, uh, a lot of times we miss the reality that God is present with us 24-7 all around us, whether in the uh, greatest joys of our lives or the greatest sorrows of our lives. So like these two gentlemen who, or we assume maybe gentlemen, maybe, maybe a husband and wife, there's some debate uh, between uh, theologians on, on who they could be. But uh, with that aside, these two people had an experience with, with, with Jesus. And at this very time, they're probably down and really confused because the resurrection is absolutely fresh for them right now. So they knew Jesus, they walked with him, they saw that he was crucified, uh, had this horrendous death, and, and now they're hearing about a resurrection, and, the, and they're not really sure how to process all of this. So in this very time, they might have been saying, God, where are you in the midst of this? And I think we can all relate to those times in our lives when we felt that way. And maybe this reading is inviting us to recognize God in the ordinary moments of our lives. And sometimes we focus too much on the extraordinary, the big uh, moments, uh, and we fail to recognize Christ sitting right in front of us. So as you pray over these readings and prepare for Sunday this weekend, I invite you to ask one, ask Christ, what, what does he want you to get out of the readings this weekend? What, what is he trying to put in your heart? And how can you become a better reflection of Christ for others? Happy Easter, everyone.